Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to this channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Today, we're going to be talking about Warzone and its future when Black Ops 6 releases and Warzone gets its massive updates and adds all the Black Ops 6 weapons and movement. We all know this is happening. This happened with Modern Warfare 2 2022 to Modern Warfare 3 2023, the big Warzone merger. It combined both games into one with Modern Warfare 3's movement. And now that's happening again for Black Ops 6 with Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. And the title of this video is Warzone Screwed and or something like that. And I mean to say that because throughout the end of June, we were getting a lot of news about Warzone and its future, what was going to happen with the new map that was supposed to come out with Black Ops 6, when Warzone will actually get its big update and actually merge with Black Ops 6, because now it's been delayed. The new map called Area 99 and Avalon, and Area 99 was supposed to be a new resurgence map, and Avalon was supposed to be the new big Warzone map. Both of those maps have either been scrapped and or delayed and and with black ops 6 coming out the black ops 6 and warzone merge slash update seems to look like it got delayed from december 2024 all the way to january 2025 which is not like a huge time frame to skip from but we now know that verdance will be coming back as well we also found out during the end of june that verdance was never supposed to come back either way they were planning to make new big maps and resurgence maps for warzone and they only remade verdance and planned to release it for 2024 slash 2025 all because of fortnite og success if you guys remember back in 2023 fortnite had an og only season and it did well it revived the game for a couple months and it made players play Fortnite again, and actually stick with it. And now Verdance is set to release in January 2025 or early 2025. And Verdance was supposed to get merged back into Warzone in December 2024. And now for Black Ops 6, the main big map version for them for Warzone is now Verdance, when it was supposed to be Avalon. So there's a lot of changes and things going around within the Call of Duty community where everyone's kind of hearing the same things with Warzone. And it puts a lot of eyes on what's actually going to happen in between now where within the Call of Duty cycle, Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 are kind of like dead and boring right now. Even though content's still being added and all stuff, people are just getting bored and they want to play the new Black Ops 6 Call of Duty and the new Warzone. What's going to happen between now to when the new map actually happens? Because if you guys remember, before they shut down Warzone 1 for Warzone 2, when Warzone 2 was never a thing, Back in like, what, December, maybe November, maybe January, they kept Warzone 1 up. But once Warzone 2 came out, they shut that shit down. So what I'm asking really is like, is the Warzone player base ready to wait that long for a new Warzone map and or for the Warzone Black Ops 6 merger to happen? But all I'm trying to get at is that like, will the player base, will the community be willing to play Rebirth Island Resurgence and or your extent for that long and actually stick with it and potentially have no Black Ops 6 movement at all for a couple months? Because with the game releasing somewhat early in October and then you having to wait three and a half, maybe four months just to play the new Warzone map, I don't think a lot of the community will actually keep playing Warzone between that time because some people just play multiplayer, some people just play Warzone. And honestly, if I'm being honest, there's a small group that actually plays both consistently and daily. So what I'm wondering is, is that like, what will all these Warzone players do if they get bored of Rebirth, if they get bored of the big map? Because recently from Modern Warzone, I saw a poll where he asked what people spend their time on when playing Call of Duty. And honestly, from years ago where Warzone was the number one thing, it's kind of crazy to me how within the poll, and the picture's up now, Within the poll, Rebirth Resurgence was only 39% and multiplayer somehow was 33%, which is absolutely huge. And, you know, Big Map Warzone had 16, Zombies had 12. But the fact is, is that what are all these Rebirth Resurgence and Big Map Warzone players going to do if they get bored of the maps they're playing, of the Modern Warfare 3 movement that they're going to have? until the black ops 6 and warzone merger if we look at the past even when modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 came out they did not immediately have warzone it took a month or two right but the fact that they have to rebuild an entire map right and get like literally every minute detail correct port that all into 
everyone's files and all that stuff and like make it a reasonable size and do so much more like how long will this merger take because if i'm activision and or the call of duty devs either one of those i'm thinking why would i want to make two big updates right why do i have one big update that adds in the black ops 6 stuff and its movement with an old map people like so they buy the new game to get all the attachments and weapons leveled up and then they play warzone to get that nostalgic feeling back in verdance there's just so many things that's happening behind the scenes for warzone right now that makes it kind of like worrisome for some of the warzone players because i believe they scrapped ar99 and they're just not going to use it anymore because dude if we're being honest why change something that's not broken rebirth is such a good map it, it just flows amazingly why even change that right and the new avalon map is now releasing in fall of 2025 so we're gonna have two big warzone maps for black ops 6 and whatever the next call of duty black ops game is because if you didn't know treyarch is also developing call of duty games back to back like infinity war did with modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3. this is very exciting but also like worrying me to see because bro because imagine the amount of players who don't buy or play multiplayer at all and they just don't know what to do and they never come back to the game like i personally feel like you can't leave a game out of content and updates and like fixes and all that stuff for months right before it backfires on you because for what for warzone 1 before warzone 2 came out they didn't really touch it they just were adding you know fixes all that stuff but like it wasn't significant enough to keep a majority of players to play they were literally just waiting for warzone 2 to come out which I honestly think that a lot of people won't do. Like, there's no way a lot of people are going to wait this time around. With how exciting Black Ops 6 is and the fact that it's had the development it's had for this amount of time, play testing for two years, I believe, and also the new movement, I don't think a lot of people are going to wait for Warzone's merger to actually happen. They're just going to spend their time on multiplayer. Because, dude, if we're being honest, the sudden shift of multiplayer somewhat getting more updates and more love and attention from the call of duty devs and activision this time around it's absolutely insane to see when warzone came out in march of 2020 it was the number one thing for call of duty it brought back call of duty right and a majority of people were hooked on to warzone and multiplayer took a step back it was not the main focus for literally three to four years straight now warzone has been the main thing that activision works on and you know the main selling point for call of duty right but seeing that 33 percent of people actually play multiplayer more than warzone and warzone only being at 39 percent, which is really surprising and how the call of duty updates were kind of more multiplayer focused because for a lot of modern warfare 3 a lot of the warzone players complained that warzone was not getting fixed it was not getting attention at all and multiplayer was getting daily updates daily content all that stuff it's kind of worrisome like what is everyone gonna do when warzone has no support or content from when black ops 6 comes and when the black ops 6 x warzone merger actually happens i want to see what people do the fact that more people that are from warzone that started off with warzone or mainly play warzone are now primarily playing multiplayer it's kind of scary for the warzone community that is going to die out for the next couple months and it obviously is going to come back but like for the next couple months like warzone is just going to be like a, a a graveyard man of four more players but yeah if you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you guys think warzone will do is it really in trouble for the next couple months will it ever have everyone play warzone only or will it just now be a mix of multiplayer and warzone players playing call of duty let me know in the comments and i'll see you guys next time peace